Hi there, I'm Lance, and welcome to the Color Art Autumn Splendor Educational Event. I'm very excited to be one of the 16 artists participating in this event, showing you how you can use some wonderful color art products. I don't know, something about doing this event made me think of Van Gogh, and when I think of Vincent Van Gogh, I think of sunflowers. So you see I have drawn in where my sunflowers are going to go, and I'm gonna be doing them, showing you a chaos style blowout for the background and I'll be doing the sunflowers with some swiping technique and right now I'm showing you my colors I used four different colors of green I used an Amsterdam olive green uh, dark and I used what they call pale green by Arteza but really it's like a bright Kelly green and so I put some Arteza raw sienna in that because it has a red tone and red tone will mute green because it's a complementary color so I wanted a muted green that was like a mid-tone and then I'm using Sassy Sprite, Prism Pour Sassy Sprite as another brighter green and I mixed that with some Liquitex pouring medium and then I used some green flash and I mixed a little bit of Deco Art Satin Enamel Pure White into that. If you mix a tiny bit into that it makes it a little more opaque but also a little brighter and it still has its beautiful um, metallic tone. It's just, as you see it there, it's just very bright and not quite as iridescent because I really wanted it to show up as a brighter green. You see me blowing it out now and as you saw I laid down my colors in a very kind of haphazard chaotic manner hence the name <laughs> and now you just want to blow it out and just kind of thinking of my blowout of like you know radiating things away from the flowers a little bit and out to the edges and trying to create things that might look leaf-like or organic you just kind of have to play with that I mean obviously this is abstract so you're just trying to do the best you can with trying to feel like you're maybe radiating out to the edges of the canvas and then you can see already these colors are reactive to each other they cause reactions they're having reactions with cells you can see some cells popping up and forming and it just created some really cool different kind of dendrite reactions in some places and a lot of that has to do with the fact that the Amsterdam, there's Amsterdam paint in there, there is Floetrol in the mix with a lot of the colors, and then there's of course the Sassy Sprite that was mixed with the Liquitex pouring medium. And so after you let them sit for a while, you just kind of see things continue to develop. And you want to always, of course, run your, run your stir stick around the edges to catch the drips so that it doesn't create you know, the pulling of the paint off the sides of the canvas, and you want to torch it off so, of course, that you bring more cells up. I'm showing you now how I do my centers of the sunflower and I'm really taking inspiration from AB Creative. She did a sunflower center like this where she put the circular bands of color around and then took the palette knife and started drawing into the center and making the lines, creating this beautiful kind of radial sunflower center. And I used, my colors were Amsterdam Oxide Black, Scarab Beetle, which is Prism Pour Scarab Beetle that I love. It's like one of my new favorite colors, and you'll see kind of what that does a little bit later when I do the flyover. And I also used Fire Opal, Arteza Raw Sienna, and Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Now, as I said, I took my inspiration from AB Creative in this recent uh, sunflower painting that I saw of hers but I wanted to keep it a little bit freer and a little bit more loose and abstract because I wanted to kind of highlight kind of what is so special about fluid art 
and that I wanted to make my background with this chaos blow out, kind of give you the feeling of the leaves and you know the foliage of the sunflowers without it being super literal. Now typically I might have let this background set up and dry a little bit, you know, not to the point where it was completely dry, but maybe a little bit more tacky in its consistency. And you see me here putting down more color with my stir stick just because I want a little bit of that dry canvas in places, but I didn't want too much so that when I go to do my swipes that it doesn't really coat. As you see now, I'm putting down my yellows and my orange tones, and I'm gonna start doing the swipes for my sunflower petals. You see me putting down my colors now around the perimeter of the sunflower center, and that was Cadmium Yellow Light by Liquitex. And this is Champagne, Modern Master Champagne. And the other color that I use is Prism Pour Orange Crush. And there you see that beautiful bright orange color. And in my champagne color from Modern Masters, I put a little bit, a drop or so of the coconut serum, which is like a silicone. So it would give me some cells. And I also have Deco Art 24 karat gold in there. And now you can see a little bit of the cell reaction. In just a minute, you'll see them popping up a little bit more. But you'll see me adding color here and there and you know I'm I'm not being super careful I'm not being super you know contrived or I'm just trying to be very kind of fluid with the style of what I'm doing and just kind of a little bit freer and I like that and now you can see those cells popping up and the reaction that you get and you I'm using paper towels that are damp little little pieces of paper towels that I've pre-cut and I've cut them at various sizes and then as you swipe you want to pull the paper towel at an angle as you lift it off so it gives you kind of like that narrowing and tapering of the petals. Now if you're enjoying my video for this Autumn Splendor event, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell when you do so you'll be alerted when I upload new content. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Share your thoughts with me. I'd really love to hear from you. I didn't see it. I never knew. Turn to the stars for clues. I call the moon Then in my wildest dreams There was a wave mm -hmm. Growing bigger Now I call you for Recently, I was honored to do a collaboration video with Gail Burston from Life and Splatters on a cell-activated floating cup. You can catch that video by clicking on the link to the right. Now as I continue swiping on with my sunflower petals, I wanted to talk a little bit about this event. Now as in the previous event, there will be a $400 shopping spree to Color Art awarded as a grand prize to some lucky viewer. Now there is a secret phrase, and in order to decipher the secret phrase, you have to follow along with all 16 artists and find out what that artist's particular word or words are for the secret phrase. After you've followed along and have seen all 16 artist videos and you think that you've got the phrase, you can then go to colorart.com and cast your guess. Now you'll have until midnight on the 28th of October to get your guesses in. Now some other exciting news, all 16 artist channels will be giving away the one ounce starter sets of the new 
vivid, intense, high flow fluid acrylics that are just coming out, valued at $50 each. So in order to be in the running to win those, you need to watch all 16 artists' videos, subscribe to their channels, like their videos, and leave them a comment, and you'll be in the running to win one of these 16 exciting new Vivid Intense starter sets. Okay, it's time to pay attention, folks. My secret phrase words are not have. Again, my secret phrase words are not have. It's like we're now, I'm showing you another technique that is a chain pull technique. You're laying down a color of the green in a line and then you're taking the chain and you're aligning it with that line and then you're going to pull it downward and you're going to do that reversed on each side and it kind of gives you this leaf shape and I really love what that does and that's giving me enough of an abstract leaf form and I really love the effect that it gives. I'm showing you my flyover and my star players for this piece really are the beautiful prism pour colors and especially that scarab beetle that you see there in the middle of that sunflower center. It's so gorgeous. It gives you that kind of duality of blue greens but yet golds and kind of rose gold colors and it's just stunning. And of course the sassy sprite you see there with all the green shimmer in the background and there is that scarab beetle again and the orange crush love that color as well that bright vibrant color of orange and I just love what these colors did especially even in that background the shimmer and the cells and the different shapes that are in the background and there I am closing up more on the scarab beetle as I told you one of my new favorites for sure and I hope this inspires you to uh, get some color art products and maybe try something like this. Maybe try the swiping technique to do sunflowers or some kind of flower or just swipes in general. Now before me was Loida of Fantasyland by Love Acrylic Painting. And if you haven't seen her video, be sure and go back and check hers out. And after me, will be Healing Arts by Luna Sky. You want to check her, her video out and I will leave links to all 16 affiliate artists participating in this. Be sure to see everyone's videos and follow along. Be sure to submit your guests for the secret phrase. Subscribe, leave comments, and like all 16 affiliate artists videos so you'll be in the running to win one of the 16 mini prizes. Well I hope you enjoyed my Van Gogh inspired happy dancing sunflowers and hopefully you feel maybe inspired to try out some color art products for yourself and I really want to thank you for joining me. Come back and see me again soon for another adventure pouring together.